I think for anyone who's going into this space or applying for the job <laughs> to join the team, a couple things kind of have kind of stood out for me. I've learned that when you go into a new category, you have to really be humble about what you do because you're just not going to know the answer, right? Or you're, you're not even going to be able to find the data or you're going to fail, you know, quite frankly, because it's unknown territory and you have to be open and willing to doing that. And so I think it takes a level of humility, especially as a researcher, right? A lot of people really want to, you know, can I get the right answer? Can I really deliver, you know, the insight? Can I get there to really help move the needle? And in this space, you want to be prepared to not know. And sometimes you want to be prepared to go beyond the data because you won't be able to find the exact data that you need, right? It's not just the insight, but also the inference, right? It's that extra piece. It's the consultative moment, right? I think focus is important. So being focused, especially when you have to execute. <laughs> and what I mean by that is really like, I think what's successful for people in this space is that you have to be really purposeful on how you spend your time and resources, right? The way I've described it to people is, you know, you had to Marie Kondo everything and anything when possible, right? Because you can't take on every request there is. And I think this is a common thing for people in research and insights, right? You can't necessarily take on every request. You have to know when not to because taking on everything that's coming from everywhere will get you absolutely nowhere, you know? And the environment is extremely fast-paced. So you have to, <laughs> Marie Kondo, right? You have to remove the things or be willing to remove the things that are not going to help get you to the goal. 